see it now? Yes. Great. So hello everyone, my name is uh, Esther Brom. I'm assistant professor at the Bigger Group and um, PI of the research line of neuroimage analysis and machine learning. So, um, whereas Danilo uh, was very enthusiastic about the eyes, I am very enthusiastic and also about the brain, but I'm also very enthusiastic about the brain. Uh, so my um, research is mostly about, the research of my group is mostly about MR, MRI images of the brain and how we can extract biomarkers, models and uh, diagnostic prognostic information uh, the best way from multimodal brain MRI imaging. Uh, I've, in my group we work currently on three focus applications. So the first one is diagnosis and prediction in Alzheimer's disease. So early diagnosis, uh, differential diagnosis of different types of dementia and combining uh, different types of biomarkers and imaging biomarkers uh, to diagnose and identify uh, individuals at risk of developing dementia at an early stage. Uh, second focus application is very much related to dementia, but is looking more at vascular brain damage. So uh, infarcts and um, yeah, other small vessel disease uh, markers, so uh, related to cardiac uh, diseases. Uh, that's also a very important focus area. And the third focus area, uh, Dida already told you about in her project, uh, image analysis in children's craniosynostosis. And what are we then uh, trying to do in those diseases? So the first, uh, first major uh, point is to develop novel quantitative imaging biomarkers and uh, so these these are some of the very main uh, imaging biomarkers so quantifying volumes for example in the brain very relevant for dementia this can also not only done for regions but also for voxels in the brain we look at perfusion MRI in different applications, so also in the children with craniosynostosis, so how much blood flows to certain areas of the brain. Um, microstructure of the brain measured with diffusion MRI, fMRI, and um, MRIs to look at vascular brain damage. Um, using those biomarkers, we develop novel models for diagnosis, disease progression, and prediction. So, for example, in a recent study, um, we, def we compared several machine learning methods for Alzheimer's disease. Since uh, these methods in the literature are quite successful, uh, but uh, and uh, we see in other applications that CNN deep networks outperform conventional classifiers like support factor machines. But for this application, uh, they both have a very similar performance and still pre-processing helps and. Um, um, yeah, both approaches really work. And uh, the third part is uh, what we should also find really important is really validate this model in a way that they can eventually be applied in clinical practice. And one way to do it is also to collaborate with uh, researchers worldwide. Uh, so I set up, I am setting up uh, a sharing platform for prediction algorithms uh, of Alzheimer's disease. And I think it's important to share these between uh, researchers to enable further development and further validation uh, and uh, yeah, to really help eventually using those algorithms for the patients. So those are three examples uh, and these are the people currently working together with me in my group. And uh, for today we are proposing two concrete projects, so me together with Bo Lee. Uh, on uh, the area of uh, mostly vascular brain damage. So the first project we'd like to propose is uh, cortical infarct segmentation. So a brain infarct and, um, and here especially cortical infarct, so the larger infarcts in the brain um, are very difficult to segment uh, because they look quite heterogeneous. Doing it manually is currently the standard but is a lot of work. Um, so we would like to develop an automatic method to do that. Uh, but some problems are, we do have data for this, we, but manual segmentations are imperfect, infarcts can look different, and um, 
data set size is limited. So we know we can do it. We have some basic performance, but we know we have some good ideas, Bo. Uh, we can discuss this later. Uh, to improve accuracy using some smart tricks like smoothed manual annotation, data augmentation, a lesion specific loss function. And we would really like to find a student to work with us on that. And the second project is a bit related. We'll use different uh, data. And here we're mostly interested in covert brain infarcts eventually. So th those are infarcts in the brain that do not cause a stroke. So do not have cause symptoms but they are present in like 20% of elderly people. And um, knowing how old these infarcts are is important for the decision whether to still treat someone uh, with antithrombotic treatment uh, when these infarcts are found on a brain scan, for example. And uh, so this, in this project, we would like to explore whether we can learn the age of infarcts using a machine learning method on imaging data. So this is an explorative project, but I think it's really exciting to see if we can do this. Uh, yeah, really novel uh, project. Uh, so these are the two defined projects. There are some other possible directions, uh, depending on your interest. And uh, please join us in, uh, in our Slack channel in our room. And you can also contact me by email if that's useful. So thank you very much for your attention.